Um, have you noticed any patterns or topics that kind of recur in uh, reoccur? I'm sorry, in insect humor. Uh, yes, usually an insect is walking into a bar somewhere or another. <laughs> well, why is that? Are, are entomologists a bunch of drunks or what? No, no it isn't. We have been badly influenced by an individual who probably would prefer his name remain anonymous, but his real name is Garrison Keeler. And we, we've we listened to all of Garrison Keeler's joke shows, and all of them have a be an insect walking into a bar, sitting on a stool, and asking for a drink from a bartender who's skeptical. <laughs> if you were an insect, what kind of insect would you be? I'd be an insect that would attack Garrison Keeler for all of these thoughtless jokes that he's made about insects. Uh, how many entomologists does it take to change a light bulb? Um, well... You know a lot of insect jokes, I bet, right? Well, I don't know. I guess I'm a living insect joke. <laughs> Alright. Well, have you noticed any themes or subjects that kind of recur? Well, uh, certainly uh, the devouring of a mate seems to show up in a lot of different cartoons and humor. For example? Uh, you know, uh, uh, the idea of uh, when a uh, praying mantid comes out and says, and the Gary Larson cartoon says, well, surely you would know I wouldn't devour my own husband. <laughs> what about what about the bars? I notice a lot of insect jokes take place in bars. Are, are entomologists a bunch of alkies or what? Well, I don't know about that. But I mean, but the great jokes are like when the you know the termite walks in and says, "Is a bartender here?" and uh, <laughs> You know the answer to that one. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Yesterday I asked you how many entomologists it took to change a light bulb and you said 12. That's absolutely right. It takes 12 entomologists to change a light bulb. Anybody knows that. Have you conducted any research on this? And if so, has it been peer reviewed and replicated? Uh, absolutely not. Then I, I think I'll have to reject your hypothesis. Well, no you won't because I couldn't find 12 people that would cooperate with me on this research to do that. And if they would have, I kind of think they're pretty strange, but I don't know. I've never changed a light bulb because I can't find 12 people that'll help me. How many entomologists does it take to change a light bulb? You're an entomologist, right? Have you ever changed a light bulb? No. No? So. Uh, no, I always use those long-term ones. I, I, I'm a modern entomologist. Oh, okay. And they never wear out. Okay. If you were an insect, what kind of insect would you be? I guess a Curculio, uh, Curculio something or other, they're one of the most elegant insects on the planet. And you're an elegant guy? Sure. As I told you before, I think for at the beginning of the, the meeting, I told you we were, uh, uh, some student volunteers and I were uh, going around asking people about insect jokes and, and entomological humor. Um, do you have to know any insect jokes? Uh, you asked me that before and I said no. <laughs> All right. How many entomologists does it take to change a light bulb? Um, what, are you going to tell me one to hold the bulb and the other, the other to turn the ladder or what? No, I, 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 that's not my hypothesis. Um, you're an entomologist, correct? Yeah. Um, have you ever changed a light bulb and if so, did you ever, ever need assistance from other entomologists? I know. Then I would, I would guess that the answer would be one, but I'm not a scientist. That was your joke. That was pretty bad. That wasn't a joke, that was a question. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That, wasn't a, that was just a question. <laughs> If you were an insect, what kind of insect would you be? I really don't know because I've never thought of it. I've never thought it's about it. It's too hard, huh? Because there's so many insects, maybe. I'll make a multiple choice. A, a ladybug. B, a stink bug. C, a dung beetle. That's, that's three. You said you'd give me four, did you not? No, I said three. Oh, well, none of those. I would rather never be an insect. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, do you want to hear an insect joke? I suppose. All right. Do you know the one about the termite walking into the bar? No. The termite walks into the bar and says, where's the bartender? How about the grasshopper? The grasshopper walks into a bar and says, it, well, the bartender says, hey, you know, we got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, you got a drink named Steve? Is that uh, it? All right. How about <laughs> the inchworm? An inchworm crawls into the bar. And he crawls all the way up the bar still. It takes him a long time. And he's just about to order that drink. And the bartender sees him and says, Hey, we don't serve no inchworms in this bar. And he throws him out the door. Exactly one year later, there's a knock at the door. And the bartender answers. And the inchworm says, What the hell is that all about? You see, it's because the inchworms are really slow. And it took him a whole entire year to get back to the door.
<laughs> are, are we finished? Uh, how many entomologists does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, who knows? Uh, my question is, why do entomologists want to change the light bulb? They're always in the dark anyway. <laughs> if you were an insect, what kind of insect would you be? If I were an insect, uh, I would be a female praying mantid because I like what happens as a result of the mating process. Uh, and who needs those males anyway? <laughs> All right. I got. Uh, I've, I've been collecting some jokes, and I got one for you. You ready? Okay. What do you call an agitated, single-minded, high-strung entomologist? Uh, Jay McPherson. Really? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Jay anyway when we need him? I don't know. I'm just glad he's not here to hear that. That's right. That's a great. Our hands shaking. Oh my God. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm Richard Levine from ESA. And I'm standing here with Gail Kettmeyer. We're gonna tell insect jokes. Gail will rate them. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Let's we'll start with the classic one. A termite walks into a bar and says, "Where's the bartender?" You got it. I got it. Most people don't get it the first time. <laughs> All right. The next, next one. It's thumbs up. All right. Yeah. Next one, a grasshopper walks into a bar, and the bartender says, hey, we got a drink named after you. And the grasshopper says, you got a drink named Bob? Thumbs up. All right, an inchworm crawls into a bar, and he crawls all the way up the bar stool. And he's about to order a drink when the bartender spots him and runs over and grabs it by the neck and says, we don't serve no inchworms in this bar, and he throws him out the door. Exactly one year later, there's a knock at the door, and the bartender opens it, and the inchworm says, what the up, down. I don't get it. You don't get it. Inchworms go real slow. So a whole oh, year later. Oh, I expected it to matter more pose. Entomologist. <laughs>